Hello and welcome. This is Sam. Today we're going to learn to program the image filter in JavaScript. As usual, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and check out all the videos I have posted here. You can learn a lot of stuff in JavaScript. Okay, without any further ado, let's jump into the lesson. I've created a new file and I already placed a image in this current working directory. Let's include the image element sample.jpg and I just want to set the height as 700 pixel and let's use the range input controls for the filter options. Range input control results in slider UI. Let's see that in action we can able to let's create that first. I don't want to have any name here. Okay, we can able to set the minimum value here. So minimum value zero, and we can able to set the maximum value, maximum value as 100, and the default value, I'm just setting some random values. Finally, we can able to set the size of the each moment of a slider control using a step attribute. Let's use one. You can change it anytime if you want different size. There are totally nine filters we are going to use in this lesson. So nine input range controls. Let me make eight copy of this. Let's add the on change handler to all the input range elements. We are going to call apply filter method here. Most importantly, we need to specify the filter type. So first one is blur and we need to adjust the default value so the default value is zero no problem with that and maximum value no problem with that okay let's add the measurement scale actually it tells whether it is pixel uh, percentage or degree or anything else actually blur uses pixel scale so i'm using pixels okay let's do it quickly for all the remaining elements let me copy this before that let me add a label here blur and i just want to add a break here okay label brightness and here we need to change brightness oh my god it should be small and the scale will be in percentage and the default value should be 100 uh, I, I'll set max as under 200 okay so let me copy this and paste it here this is for contrast so let's just change this contrast the same thing for okay i forgot to add brick here the same thing for grayscale also So we need to change this gray scale but the thing is the default value will be zero and max will be under in this case uh, yeah fine then hue rotate Here we need to mention hue rotate and the scale will be in degree and the maximum value because it's a degree so we can mention max as 360 and minimum as zero and default value as zero no problem with that and one more label 
here we are going to use invert and paste the thing invert okay minimum uh, default value 0 minimum value 0 max 0 everything is fine and it uses percentage very very well and label and we are going to do opacity here okay let's change this to opacity by default okay small by default it should be 100 and minimum is zero that is fine and percentage everything is fine yeah and finally saturate so saturate it doesn't use any um, scale just the value so I left I leave it as empty and minimum value zero and current value everything is fine and one more thing sepia it uses percentage and everything looks fine okay let's add a break to all the uh, elements input range elements I'm sorry let's write the JavaScript code actually the HTML part took uh, longer than I expected let's write the method definition for apply filter I'm sorry before that, let's access the image element. Document dot query selector query selector. I don't have the ID for the image element since I have only one image. I'll access it using document dot query selector. In your case, you can use ID or something else. Okay, and a variable to store all the uh, input range elements so let me name it as filter controls document dot query selector all will do the job of selecting all the range input controls it should be enclosed with this square brackets and uh, inside this method i'm going to have a variable to store all the computed filters let's iterate the filter controls for each and function it will give us item and index and the array so we don't need this actually item and index is okay fine with us our filter should uh, looks like this image dot style dot filter equal to um, blur of some six pixel and brightness and the percentage something like that and so on so we're going to uh, do the same you're going to achieve the same in the code computer filters I'm sorry and we need to get the filter name so item dot get attribute of data filter now we need a value so item dot value and okay actually we forgot to add the opening brackets item dot get attribute data scale and the closing brackets and a space for the next uh, filter uh, filter value this will compute all the filters from all the input range controls finally set the computed filter value to the image so 
let's test this quickly okay let's test this I think something is wrong because the image is in black and white right now let's test that quickly everything looks fine but what's the problem okay let's see okay I found saturate value should not be zero so what I'll do is saturate saturate default value as one and minimum value as one let's quickly test this yeah blur is being applied and we can increase the brightness and you can able to increase the contrast okay I think everything works fine and you can play with this okay that's all about image filters in javascript give it a thumbs up if you like this video and share with others and please subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this thank you bye bye